Hello everyone. My name is Ömür Harmansha. I'm Associate Professor of Art History uh, in the School of Art and Art History here at UIC and I'm very delighted to meet you all. Um, this semester I'm going to be teaching this course, Art History 110, World History of Art and the Built Environment 1, the first half of actually a two semester class. And I'm going to be uh, collaborating with my seven teaching assistants whom you will be meeting um, in the next couple of weeks and working with them uh, all semester long. The second half of the semester, the second half of this course is in the spring, Art History 111, uh, which, is the, um, which is the continuation of this course. In 110, we cover the ancient and medieval worlds, uh, particularly, um, and in the spring, you continue on with uh, the early modern, modern, and contemporary, uh, contemporary time periods. Um, so um, I came to UIC in 2014. Uh, it's been seven years. Um, uh, time flies really quickly. Uh, and I taught this course uh, five times uh, since 2014 uh, in, a, in a more traditional, in a more conventional face-to-face uh, -face format, format in, a, in a big auditorium. And um, a few years ago, uh, our college, uh, the College of Architecture, Design and the Arts, approached me uh, to see if I would be interested in developing this course as an online course, like the second half of the course, Art History 111, which was already developed and designed by uh, Professor Hannah Higgins, who is a professor in the Department of Art um, right now. So I was, um, I was very excited and I, uh, I agreed and after several months of, of really hard work, um, uh, here we are with this newly designed, newly invigorated course um, that is online, uh, but both synchronous and asynchronous um, uh, course and I will tell you more about the details of that format in a little bit. So what you will be participating this semester is, is actually quite exciting and experimental um, and um, while I was redesigning this course as an online version um, uh, of course uh, the pandemic hit um, and so um, uh, so with the pandemic, many of the courses that we were teaching uh, had to be taught remotely in one way or another. So what I was doing with this course has lost a little bit of its, of its um, uh, specialness. So, um, uh, but I must say that I've learned quite a bit uh, teaching during the pandemic, teaching remotely. Um, we, we had to question all of the teaching practices that we had. So uh, teaching in, during the pandemic have con to, has contributed gr a great deal to the design of this, um, of this new course um, for you um, because it was, a, it was quite a humbling experience uh, and the experimentation and the challenges that we were offered really impacted the way that the, I, designed this, um, I designed this course. So this is the very strange circumstances in which, uh, in which this course um, was actually developed. Um, another occasion for the redesign of this course um, is of course my passion about teaching survey courses, uh, but also my contribution to a recent textbook uh, that is used in, a, in, global, in teaching global art history survey. Um, so, um, uh, I've been always frustrated with the way that survey courses are taught in colleges, um, especially the textbooks that are used for these survey courses. These textbooks are often written by one or two specialists uh, who can't be specialists about all periods. Um, so uh, the ancient and medieval worlds particularly become very re re reduced um, or simplified uh, in the presentation. So when uh, the P British publisher, uh, the world-renowned British publisher, Thames and Hudson, approached me uh, if I would be interested in participating in a new global art history textbook, 
I was very excited because the idea was that the textbook would be divided into uh, several authors uh, who would only write uh, in the areas that they are specializing. So they gave me five chapters. Um, I wrote the prehistoric chapter, a long prehistoric chapter. Um, and then I wrote two, uh, two chapters on ancient Mesopotamia uh, from prehistory to Alexander the Great. And then I wrote uh, two chapters on ancient Egypt, uh, again from prehistory to all the way to uh, Roman Egypt. Um, so this was a very difficult thing to do, uh, but thankfully the book is now out um, and I received my hard copy uh, just yesterday. It's called The History of Art, A Global View. Um, and you are going to be the first set of students who will be using around the world this new textbook. Um, written by 11 different authors um, uh, and you'll be reading some of my chapters in the next uh, next several weeks as well. Um, so I'm very excited to to share with you all of this um, all of this new uh, new work. The publication date for this book, uh, the actual official publication is in December, uh, not in uh, in about four or five months. Uh, so you are going to be, uh, Thames and Hudson is offering uh, you to us to use this, uh, this book as an experiment in the fall semester. So the digital copies will be offered uh, free of charge to, um, to all of you um, in the meantime. So um, a little bit more about myself and who am I. Uh, so I uh, grew up in Turkey and I am, um, I'm an architectural historian and an archaeologist. I uh, started by studying uh, architectural design, actually. I became an architect. Um, and then because of my love in writing uh, and on research and particularly the ancient world uh, on architectural history and architectural conservation, um, I decided to stay in academia. I decided to move towards history of architecture of the ancient world and archaeology, of course. Um, and so uh, in 1997, I came to the US and I did my PhD uh, at the University of Pennsylvania, um, lived in Philadelphia for about eight years, uh, writing my dissertation. Um, and after that, I taught at Reed College in Portland, Oregon. And then, uh, and then at uh, Brown University in Providence, Rhode Island. Those were my uh, previous experiences of teaching before coming to UIC in 2014. Um, having lived in many uh, different cities, um, grown up in Ankara, lived in Philadelphia for eight years, and then Austin, Texas, and uh, Providence, Rhode Island. I love Chicago, um, and I really love uh, UIC, and and the kind of um, my students here and my colleagues, I feel like um, I fit in. My research really fits in very well, uh, very well here. Um, my research is uh, has been on on the on the material culture and architecture and art uh, of ancient Middle East. Uh, that's what I work on. I run an archaeological research project in Turkey, a fieldwork project. A, landscape archaeology project. Actually, I just arrived uh, from fieldwork just yesterday um, doing running an archaeological survey project in, in South Central Turkey. Uh, if any of you is interested in, in, in hearing more about it, please, uh, please be in touch. Come to my office hours. I'm happy to tell you about it. Um, oftentimes we take students uh, to, the, to do fieldwork together. Hopefully this pandemic will end pretty soon um, so we can uh, we can resume um, uh, field work more properly um, in the uh, in the coming years my uh, from my previous research my first book was about um, was called cities and the shaping of memory in the ancient Near East which was published by Cambridge University Press in 2014 um, it was about the idea and practice of founding new cities building new cities and, the, and their architecture, uh, particularly during the Iron Age um, in the northern part of Mesopotamia, covering Iraq, Syria, and Turkey, uh, particularly. 
And then I wrote another book. I was more interested in the countryside, in the idea of landscape in the rural countryside. So I decided to write about these set of Anatolian rock monuments, monuments carved on living rock with inscriptions and images. Um, so, and I wanted to write about the idea of place and landscape. Uh, so that's what I did in my second book, Place, Memory and Healing, which was published by, uh, by Routledge. Um, more recently, I've become more interested in uh, the ecological, the global ecological crisis that we're living through and climate change. And my research is, has kind of really evolved towards understanding climate change in the context of ancient history uh, and, and what we can learn from past experiences about really um, dealing with uh, the, the problems, the ecological problems that we see today and, and the idea of, um, uh, of, of climate change. So I'm writing, uh, I'm writing a new book called Landscapes of the Anthropocene which actually looks at um, the practice of archaeology, how archaeology is practiced in the Middle East today um, during, during this time of crisis and, and climate change and immigration and migration. Um, and so this, this kind of really extreme suffering that we see um, in, that, uh, in that particular geography. So you'll be hearing quite a bit about all of this uh, from me. Um, so, um, and if you are particularly interested in my research, I'm also happy to talk to you during my office hours. Um, the way that I will be, um, I will be presenting to you uh, will be through these many recorded lectures, uh, but I'm always available uh, to talk to you during office hours, uh, during the week. Please, uh, please do reach out and your teaching assistants will also be very helpful to you during the, during the semester. So I, I wish you all a really wonderful and successful and smooth uh, going semester, and I hope you will stay healthy and, and safe um, uh, this, uh, this year. I look forward to meeting all of you, each one of you. Uh, thank you.